This product I'm going to unbox and demonstrate for you is something that I've wanted for many years, and that is the Zykoi Digital Weight and Balance Meter Pro. This comes with three scales that you use to, number one, weigh your model, but then also calculate the CG without having to build and suspend your model with a Vanessa rig, which isn't that big of a deal, but um, I've wanted to try this digital scale and so I'm going to unbox this for you. We're gonna weigh two models. First is going to be my 50cc Black Horse Models Gilmore Red Lion, which I have a full build series for on my YouTube channel. And then the for a smaller plane, a 30cc Seagull Perestroika, which I also have a video build series for. We're going to unbox the scale and we're going to weigh both of those planes and show you where you need to measure the distances you need and we'll see how these uh, planes look right out of the box with what I think is going to be a good CG and we'll see was I on or off so guys if you're interested in the Zykoi meter then stick around we'll show you how to use it how to measure for it and how it works So here we are at the bench. Here is the box for the Zykoi as it comes in the mail. And we'll just show you all the different sides just so you know what to expect and what it looks like. Nothing too fancy with the packaging, but it's well packaged. You'll see there's a big piece of foam in there that holds the three scales and the control unit. And then this bag has the included mail end servo connectors that you use to connect the scales to the control unit. Now, be careful here, and you can see I'm being really careful because there's no bottom to this piece of foam, and you'll see as I, I decide to set this up on its side and slide these out, there is a chance that if you just pulled this up, those scales could fall out. But you can see how tight the control unit is and here is the control unit and actually I have taken this apart there's four screws on the bottom and it's basically the four screws go through the PCB board that has the display on it and it's just holding these two pieces of plastic for the case fully operatable out of the case but just so you guys know so now let's take out the scales and in fact I actually have these upside down but they're in there pretty tight, but I would just be careful when you're pulling this whole foam piece out. I'm very impressed with the quality, the look, and the feel. These are nice and heavy. They seem made well. No complaints here. And look at that concave top. That is really, really cool feature because that's just going to help your wheels because you're always going to be setting wheels on these scales it's really just going to help those wheels sit right in the center and also i was worried i was thinking how are you going to know exactly where the center is and you can see on the bottom there is the servo connector and so in the pictures coming up i'll show you how i used that servo connector to kind of mark the center because you really need to measure from the center of these scales so more info coming up on that so here is the control unit powered up and I want to show you I have this this unit stores up to a hundred model memory so you can see I placed uh, the red line that I'm going to measure first and you see three measurements here the first two are very important the third one not so important but we'll talk about it so the first one where it says 1400 millimeters that is the distance between the front scales and the rear scale. Now that's a tail dragger and we'll talk a little bit more about that. The red line and the perestroika are both tail draggers. So I'm going to refer to this, the front scales and the rear scale. So the second value where you see 68, that's the distance between the front scales and where the CG is. Now this is a little confusing because the manufacturers of our planes don't tell us where the CG is compared to where the center of the wheel is. They usually tell us where the CG is compared to the leading edge of the wing. So you're actually going to have to take an, a different measurement to figure this out. I will show you that coming up here in a second. This next where it says 1200 millimeters, 
I didn't change that, that's default. That is if you have a select spot somewhere on the airframe where you can add or take away weight. And if you do, and you know that measurement, then the computer can tell you exactly how much to add there or take away to achieve your desired CG. So I'm not using that feature in this video, but just letting you know what it is. Finally, the tricycle or bicycle. This is a little confusing because you can imagine a tricycle is a nose gear airplane, but a, when I hear bicycle landing gear, I think of like the U2, where you have one wheel in front, one wheel in the back, and then wheels on the wingtips, so it goes back and forth. But if you think about it, actually, bicycle landing gear means that one set of landing gear is in front of the CG and one is in behind. So technically, tail draggers are bicycles. I would have liked to see that say tricycle or tail dragger, but nonetheless, bicycle and tricycle. This is a tail dragger, so we're gonna choose bicycle. And for that 1200 millimeter, the distance for the weight placement, if your weight placement is behind the front scales, you're gonna put a negative value, and if it's in front of the front scales, you would keep it a positive value. All right, so let's head over and look at the red line and look at these distances you have to measure. So first, you have to get the plane level, and the first measurement, 1400, the distance between the front scales and the rear scale. 50 millimeters is the distance between the front scales and the leading edge. We know the manufacturer desired CG is 118 millimeters. So to figure out that second value, we're gonna take 118 minus 50, and that equals 68 millimeters. So we are going to enter 1400 and 68 millimeters, and we'll go back to this shot. And now that explains 1400 and 68 millimeters. So now that we've seen the values that we've put in here, we will look at kind of what this looks like out on the floor. So you can see I used some blue tape on the ground to kind of show and align both the front and the rear scales. And here is the plane. And I used an exercise step and some old children's books and some more spacers to get the plane perfectly level. And you can see this is, this is what it kind of looks like sitting up on those scales. And when we zoom in, we'll be able to see that the I'm using the servo connector on the scale to mark the very center of that blue painter's tape. So I mentioned we had to measure for the leading edge of the wing. So here I use this really nice uh, square that I use that sits flat on the floor and I can find the very leading edge of the wing and then mark that down on the ground. And you can see I went and put a piece of tape right where that is. So now I'm measuring from the center of the blue tape under the wheels to the front of the front blue tape. You can do this any way you want. Here's another shot of that little mark. And for this, this distance is five centimeters or 50 millimeters. So now let's go one last shot from the front of the red line. Remember to have everything you need, every battery, every wire, the prop, the prop hub, everything as if you're going to fly. So let's look at the weight. And yeah, this is a little heavy, almost 27 pounds, but you can see the left weight, the right weight, and the tail weight. You can see each reading from each scale. And now let's go to the CG screen, and right now it's saying, as it sits now, the measured CD, CG is 64 millimeters. So what we do is take 64 plus 50, that distance from the front scales to the leading edge, and we get 114. So right now, the CG is 114 millimeters, and it's four millimeters nose heavy compared to what the manufacturer states. So we can make some changes. So let's take a look at the Perestroika. We have it leveled out 800 millimeters between the front and rear scales. The leading edge near the fuse is 80 millimeters from the front scale. The manufacturer's CG is 175 millimeters. So we take 175 minus 80 and we get 95 millimeters. And that's that second value we will plug into the control unit. So same type of thing. And you can see I have a new piece of tape up there to mark the new leading edge. And we'll go ahead and get the plane up. Now, this is a smaller plane, so I didn't need to use as many children's books to get it perfectly level, but you have to get the plane level. And here it is sitting up on the scales, the front wheel. And I didn't remove the red lines leading edge tape, but over on the right, you can see the new Perestroika leading edge tape, and that's 80 millimeters from the center of the front scale tape.
So we'll just have a few more shots of the Perestroika up on the scales. And we'll go over and look at what the readouts are. So I'm really happy with this weight reading, just under 14 pounds, that's fine. But we have a problem. This thing is way nose heavy. And this next shot here, you'll see. Yeah, we're at 66 millimeters. So if we add 66 to 80, that's 146. We're way nose heavy. And like, Moose, what are you doing? Why are you so nose heavy? It's probably because I have a 30cc electric motor and I'm running 12S 3300. So I'm gonna have to add a little tail weight, but that's all right because I know I've measured and I know what those readings are. So the one last thing I wanted to show you is that you can see the big arrow and I just put a weight on the tail and in real time, it showed the CG go back. And now I'm gonna take that weight off the tail and you'll see in real time how the measured CG changes and that arrow gets bigger. So you can keep this on, add weight, and you can see real time updates with this tool. So I'm really happy with this so far. I had a little bit of some troubles with the touchscreen. I might talk about that in a future video, but all in all, I'm really happy. This has lived up to everything I wanted, uh, I hoped for, for this scale. So guys, thanks for tuning in and we will see you when these two planes fly.